Hello everyone. So I am in the middle of a road trip across Pennsylvania. I'm heading west and I'm stopped in a town known as Breezewood. Now Breezewood has a history of being a rest stop destination for people traveling along this route. Um, this is the Lincoln Highway. Um, so this, this town, it's just, it's full of like hotels, rest stops, gas stations, uh, restaurants, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, in recent years, it's kind of fallen into decline and there's a lot of stuff that's abandoned here as well. So I'm gonna go check out this town, see what we can find. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty cool one. Come with me. So we're starting things off at the Gateway Travel Plaza. And this is kind of like a little food court, convenience area type thing. Um, there's a lot of these in New Jersey along the Garden State Parkway, and I always like to stop them when I'm driving. So now the Gateway Plaza today is a modernized rest stop, but it's been around a long time. You can see here back in 1943, you see this old picture. There's a lot of glare, I apologize. But yeah, this was around in the 40s. There's quite a lot of history just to that, this little rest area. And here's what it looked like back in the 40s. Much different from how it looks today. So up here on the second floor, it looks like we have some casino games. And we have this really cool vintage gas pump. Alrighty, so let's head into the town and see what we can find. And here's something that's kind of cool. They have an old style Taco Bell, which they've repainted and reopened as a kebab restaurant. And over here, we have an abandoned, boarded up gas station. That's pretty rough looking. I like these chrome accents they have on it. Pretty old looking. So this must have been some kind of gas station convenience store. Can't really tell which one though. So up ahead I can see something really neat. This um, retro style motel and it's sitting abandoned. Let's go get a good look at this. So here we can see the rooms, and they are incredibly dilapidated. And that second building there, you can see it's pretty much falling over. And here we can see the main lobby of it. And it's up for sale if anybody wants to come in and, I don't know, try and renovate it. Just look at this, this is amazing. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go and explore this whole thing. Um, there are signs posted and I can see some people back all the way in the back there. And um, I don't want to get myself in any trouble. So I'm gonna stand where I am and show you what I can show you. But it's still uh, quite a sight. And so right here, there must have been something here um, that they tore down and just kind of left the tile behind. Probably some kind of a restaurant. I'll have to go back and check and find out. But yeah, there's something here. It's kind of cool when they do stuff like this, just leave behind a, a remnant. And it's just kind of here in the uh, parking lot of this uh, motel. So over here was a restaurant at one point. Let's take a walk up here and see if there's anything left. I've got these creepy looking lampposts. But let's see if there's anything left. A building, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna find at the end of this road. Okay, so it looks like it's been torn down. 
Well, let's just take a walk around and see what's here. Because even if it's torn down, it's still pretty cool to see the remnants. Like here, they left all the tile down here. So uh, brick flooring. We can still see the sidewalk. Looks like somebody uh, set a bunch of shoes on fire. That's uh, kind of bizarre. Well, let's walk around here. Take a look at this former steak buffet restaurant. This might have been where the buffets were. It's kind of a very eerie, desolate sight. Simba, my son, everything the light touches, that is your kingdom. All right, continuing on, it looks like we have another abandoned gas station and an abandoned diner. This should be good. So this must have been an Exxon station. And this must have been the convenience store. Let's see what's inside still. We do not have an ATM yet. Well, it looks like they don't have an ATM right now either. Oh, and they just left a lot of stuff in there. Oh, you can see the Exxon sign right there. And just every, all the fixtures and everything are still in there. That's cool. Something came along and twisted up this railing really bad. Wonder how that happened. And here we have a uh, hot dog, hot dog box. I'm the words evading me right now. Hot dog case. And look, we can see the sign for the Exxon convenience store. And just everything else in here. And this is kind of crazy. They left the gas pumps behind. Usually when you see these gas stations abandoned, they take the pumps out or at least cover them up. And it looks like in here a bird has made its nest. Nature reclaims everything eventually. Here we have an abandoned diner, 1950s style diner. Um, I love things like this. And even if it's not authentic, which I don't think this one was, they're still pretty fun. Just all the chrome and bright lights and... Just has a nice vibe to it. And you can see that had some real neon in it. And we have glass block, I love glass block. Closed for improvements. Well, I'd say they have a long way to go. Oh, that looks like it was really cool inside. I don't know how well you can see. Let's see, maybe we'll get a look in over here. Oh yeah, look at that. How fun would it be to eat in a place like this? Whoa, creepy bunny mask. I was not expecting to see that. Some Donnie Darko stuff right there. And right here we have another abandoned motel. Uh, this looks like a Ramada. I want to say it's a Ramada. I could be wrong about that. Let's go take a look at this one, see what's going on. I can see some pallets of bricks, so maybe they are uh, rebuilding this one. Yeah, so definitely some work being done over here. So whatever happened to this one, it looks like they're trying to fix it up. Yeah, it looks like they've uh, gutted the inside in there. Trying to put some stuff back together, it looks like. Let's see what's going on over here.
wonder if this is where the pool was. Could be. Okay, so right in here we can see the hotel pool. You gotta look at that. It is in bad shape in there, a lot of mold. And so right here we have an abandoned budget inn. And as you can see, it's somewhat demolished. Actually, you know what? It looks like it was burned. If you look at the roof of that, you can see where it's charred. So this must have been damaged in a fire. And it's all just collapsed. And if we look at the main lobby, we can see that all the windows are smashed. The place is just completely destroyed. I don't know if that was part of the fire or if it was vandals or a combination of both. But if you look up there, you can actually see a hole in the ceiling. That is wild. So this is just really sad to see, just all the fire damage and then all the damage from vandalism. My goodness. This is insane. Let's see what's in here. Is this the pool? Wow. Check that out. Let's go inside this gift and souvenir shop. It looks pretty interesting. Let's go see what's in here. I wonder what their favorite team is. So I'm inside this gift shop and it's nothing but sports merchandise. Now, I don't really know much about sports. I'm not really a sports fan, but I do have some interesting animal heads. And over here, they have a massive elephant. Not really what I expected to see in here, but it's pretty cool anyway. So thank you for joining me on this trip to Breezewood, Pennsylvania. Um, definitely a unique place. A lot of history as a traveler's um, pit stop along several different routes. Um, kind of sad to see it in the state it's in, but I enjoy exploring places like that, so this was definitely something I wanted to come and check out, and I hope you had fun checking it out along with me. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video.